Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you how we can make the double crochet stitch also known as punto alto. Here we have our foundation chain. I will start by showing you how to start crocheting our first row. To begin we will crochet three chains. These three chains are going to give us the height of our first stitch. Then take the loop and insert your hook on the fourth chain. We get the loop. We now have three threads, as you can see here. With these, we, get, we grab the loop and we pull through. We grab the loop again and we get two threads. Okay, now grab a loop again. We pull through two threads and the point just above the chain. We pull through, grab a loop now, again to take a thread. We pull through two, we take another loop and the other two threads. This is the double crochet. Some people also call them punto alto. This stitch allows us to do lots of projects. It's a basic stitch, it's simple and you can make projects with only this stitch and they will be beautiful. Okay, this will be the last stitch that we will weave. Look, we are going we are going to weave this last stitch for you to see what happen if we weave this point. Okay, we're about to finish. And the first row it's ending here. This stitch here, if I pull the thread here, it may fall apart. Then it's ideal not to crochet this last, last stitch. We grab our thread again. Here is where we get the chain. From here, not from here. Okay? Okay, look, this is how our project will look. I want you to see in detail how you will see your project. Here are these weaves that are where we set up each of the stitches. With this, we can see that we didn't skip any stitch, so it was a smooth fabric with double crochet stitches. Now, how we begin our second row? Well, to begin our second row, we will grab a loop. Here, we will insert our hook. We pull our thread, we grab the loop, we turn to our project, we crochet three chains. One, two, three. Grab the loop. At this point, we are not going to insert our hook on the first hole because this stitch is equivalent to the three chains we wove first to start our first row. The following hole is the first one that we will use. We insert our hook, we grab a loop, again, one, two, and two. Again, grab a loop which is that we are weaving is a stitch that is going to be smooth with no increases. This is what we are learning to do, to make a double crochet. And remember that when you are crocheting, it is important that your stitches are not biting or thread. So it is important to know the thickness of our thread and the thickness of our hook with which we will crochet. Two and two. Okay, we are almost done through our second row. Here is a small hole where we will insert our hook, well, our final stitch. One, two, and two. It seems that there are no more stitches or chain, but we are missing 
the three chains that we wove to start our row. So this is one more stitch. If we count how many stitches we have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. Count the second row that we are crocheting now, it will be seven. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven stitches. We need one more, one more. So here we grab the loop. Now we need to decide we are going to insert the hook. Well, we are gonna do it here. We grab the loop. Here is a hole. We grab again. So here are two threads. We pull through. We take one, two, and two. And this is how this is our last stitch. If you look here, this hole is on top of the stitch on the first row as in the previous row. I'm going to undo this stitch for you to see which is another option. But ideally you should not do this last stitch here. Here you could get just this one thread. This option is easier but I do not think it's the best. Because look what happens. Maybe now it's not very obvious since we just started our project but after as we advance on it, here you will see a little pull and it will feel that it's less resistant because we are holding only a single thread. So here is the first round, the first row, and perhaps it's not noticeable, but ideally, then, well, the way it seems to me better, I want to show you is to get the two threads, the two. We pull one two and two and then the third row is the same we came up with three chains and turn our project back skip the first hole because the three chains are considered it here go to the second hole we get one two and two and so on this is the stitch that is known also as punto alto or double crochet I am crocheting with this heavy thread for you to appreciate it easier on the video. Thank you so much and remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye!